How you doing? It's Thursday, July 28th, and there's a couple reasons for today's training session. One is repeatability. I'm, I'm out here every single day now in preparation for hunting. The other thing is speed and accuracy. Running between shot, raising your heart rate, and then trying to settle into a shot to take that shot quickly and accurately all at the same time. I feel like it's a good preparation tool um, to help me actually get prepared for taking shots during hunting. And so I'm going to try to see if I can get through the entire course today, show you all 40 shots. So stay tuned and we'll get to shooting. Just the title of this video is 40 shots taken in 36 minutes. They're not all perfect shots under pressure with uh, simulated cardiac stress. 40 shots in 36 minutes. Okay, I'm only going to count the negatives, that's how I'm going to score from par. So this is a minus three, and that's an even. And that's dead nuts. We got it even. Still minus three. We got a uh, 10 over here. That's for a plus two. Total on the course is minus one so far. Now downs. Down shots I've had some issues with in the past. Trying to put more weight on my front foot, shifting my hips so that they're parallel with this ground. And I'm always hitting this one high. A little better. Same thing here, a little bit of a down slope. So I try to match that slope. Draw, anchor, loose hands, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, and that's low. Not desirable. And that one was high. Somewhere in between would have been good. K okay, minus three in an even. Minus four for the course then and another minus three. So minus four plus a minus six. Ooh, not good. We want all kill shots. I never want to injure an animal. That is the last thing in the world any hunter ever wants to do. A bit low. That's a ten, and that's an even. Oh, minus eight. Coyote down there, about twenty yards. Again, another down shot. These can really make or break me. Let's get an ethical kill. Okay, I've got a case of the lefts right now, which 
could just be that I'm moving around because my heart rate's increased. At least it's not right. When I shoot right, oh look at that. I got an even. When I shoot right, I know it's because I'm collapsing and I'm not in my back. And another even. So still, what was that? Minus eight for the course. So when I have a case of the lefts, it's most often than not my grip. <laughs> Wide open elk shot here. Stability was good, but that still went left. <laughs> Tighter anchor, that's what it is. Okay, my anchor was coming off my face. It's really cool when you can identify those things and fix them. All right, even and a plus two gives me uh, minus six for the course. I am usually okay to about this point, and then I start falling apart. Okay, black bear. And I'm filming in 60 frames per second today. So let's, let's slow this down and see what it looks like. All right, felt good. I got not good windage on that one, but great yardage. Even and a plus two for a minus four total on the course. Now in the law of averages, I usually have a good kill and a not good kill. What that means is I'll have one that's really uh, ethically placed towards the front of the body, in the rib cavity, around major vitals like the heart and lungs. And then sometimes I'll have one that is placed a little bit too far back. And in reality, I wouldn't count those, but again, the law of averages, that kind of stuff helps me gauge how much closer to center I'm actually getting. So I do keep score. And this is my nemesis. I'm gonna change that. And if this is a good shot, I won't slow motion, but if it's a bad shot, we'll know exactly why. Okay, right over his back. Good line, bad yardage, or I didn't drop my hip enough. The slow-mo will tell. Whew. Do have a case of the lefts, don't I? That is a minus eight. And a hit, but not in the kill zone, or not in the lungs, really. See this outline? That represents, eh, typically the lungs, outside of the lungs is a minus three. Hitting the lungs is par. And then these, the outermost ring is a 10 and the innermost ring is a 12. Those are your scores. So, I got a minus 11 for this lane, which is not good. Drops me from a minus four to a minus 15. <laughs> That's a lot to make up.
shoulder down. Pre-aim. Yeah. Yeah, this... Oh boy, I'm right out of that, aren't I? Another minus three and an even. No scores on that one. I think this is 30, 35. I'm not gonna take the time to range it. I just need to go. Grueling. I always fall apart here, man. Like I told you, another minus 11. Oh, boy. These down shots, and they're long. If you guys have any ideas on how to improve accuracy with a long bow, with these yard, this variable yardage, down shots. I'll slow some of these down. If you see anything I'm doing, put a comment below and tell me. Still low. Okay, I'm gonna make a critical adjustment here. Rather than pre-aiming on the shoulder blade, I'll pre-aim on Scar's back. Better yardage, right? Than then a case of the lefts. Even. Just out of even. Minus three. Wow. <laughs> Remember when I said I was only minus four? And I was only four targets ago? Minus 26. See how quickly that can happen. Minus 29. Not cool. Minus three for a minus 29, a plus 12 for a plus four. What? How is that possible? How can I be that off? <sighs> First shot, because I think I moved my bow hand. There's a 12. So plus four, 
but here's a lousy minus eight minus four for the hole drops me to minus 32 for those of you who are confused about the scoring I apologize this is just the easiest way I can do it um, par is an eight okay when you score in the long line that is an eight all right you add two so your score gets better in a ring you add more for total four okay if you hit rubber it's a minus three you score a five but it's three less than par and then a miss is eight less than par even even okay hey girl how close are you gonna let me get? That's close enough. All right. Let's make sure she does not head over this way. It would be not safe for me to shoot. There are deer in here, but usually you can hear them coming. And if you're coming, you just let them go. Oh, see? I trust that front arm. I don't move it. I post it. I don't second guess it. I set it. And forget it. Oh. Good group. Good placement. Give me some scores, baby. That's a four. So I'm back. Gets me a minus 28. <laughs> Hard to make up for all those misses, isn't it? Uh, I got an even. So when in doubt, I'm actually trying to aim for this crease right here. You guys know about that crease, right? Now, this is the score spot. That's a 12. But I am aiming here. Now, if I hit a 12 or a 10, I'm okay. But I really want to get ingrained in me that this is this crease right here. This is my X. X marks the spot. Now I know you guys, some of you guys are going to say, well, it depends on if the animal's quartering away or quartering to, if their shoulder's in front, where their foot placement is. I know that. This is a standing target, so you get what you get. But I'm aiming for that crease. And if I have to sacrifice or give up some 12s or 10s, I'm okay with that. It's so wide angle that I doubt you guys can see it because I can barely see it. See how close I can get. Beautiful bird. Can you guys see that? Maybe I'll zoom in. Gosh, he's gorgeous. There's a family of them in here and they have babies every year. It's pretty rad. Okay, check this guy out. This is called the rising boar. It's almost like you're hitting him in the guts. He's got his belly on the ground. I scored a two and I got an even. So 36 minutes, 21 seconds, take 40 shots. And I did talk. I did talk a little bit and I stopped. I don't think I did terrible but I didn't do great I'll put it in the description or I'll overlay it right here but I think the uh, par for the for this range I think is 320 and I was minus minus 26 that's not bad in fact it's a lot better than where I was this time last year if I'm being honest but there were a lot of shots that I would have not have been happy taking um, that were injury shots so this really means that I need to dial in my yardage. 10 to 15 yards today, this year, this season is what I'm comfortable at. I can hit that on the nose 
every single time. 20, maybe pushing it a little bit. That's what I've got right now. That's what I'm going out with. I'm expecting the yardage to increase a little bit, my yardage accuracy before the season, but I may end up just going out and saying nothing less than 20. All right, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned something here. Let's learn something from one another. Comment in the description below. If you have any suggestions or recommendations, let us know. Um, let's share and, and all become more proficient uh, archers and more proficient hunters, if that's your thing. Take care. See you later. Guys, I want to thank you so much for spending your precious time watching this video today. If you enjoyed it and or found it helpful, please consider subscribing. I strive to bring you entertaining and informative content and I want to continue to do so. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, please, please let me know. It'd mean the world to me to hear from you. Thanks again and stay primal.